Well, growing up, I was a big fan of the old Twilight Zone television show. Um, these little kind of character-driven, small uh, shorts that had big ideas behind them. Uh, I also loved 70s science fiction. You know, they these were films that were more character and story-driven because they didn't have all the CGI tools we have today. So I wanted to make a character-driven science fiction story that looked like nothing else. And I wrote this short story eight years ago, developed it as a graphic novel for a few years, and then ultimately turned it into the film you see today. He brings a lot. I mean, first of all, he brings an amazing actor into the center of your film. And, and I think people forget that. They see him as a movie star, but he's an incredible actor. And this film requires a great actor to pull it off. There's so many different types of scenes in this movie. It's not just action. There's mystery, there's romance, there's a thriller aspect to it. So he brings that, obviously, for a studio uh, on an original film, putting a movie star in the middle of it like him uh, helps your chances of getting it made. So it made the project a lot more real. Um, and then he just brings in an energy and an enthusiasm. We all hear about it, but it's true. Everyone, the, the crew works harder when Tom's on set because they see how hard he's working. We gave him the actual motorcycle from the movie for his birthday, so now he can add that to his collection. Uh, and his you know, longevity, I think it's, I mean, not, not only is he talented, uh, but he works very, very hard every single day. I mean, he doesn't take it for granted. He, um, he's a movie fan at heart, you know. He, he got jobs as a young kid just so he could buy his own movie ticket, and he still watches movies that way, like a fan. So I think that's why, you know, his career's lasted so long. Well, there's two uh, very interesting roles in this film. They're two strong uh, female characters, but very different, uh, kind of opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, Victoria, played by Andrea Riseborough, is kind of a by-the-book rules follower who, who is Tom's partner uh, in the mission to uh, kind of extract Earth's resources. Uh, and then on the other hand, you have Olga Kurilenko playing Julia Rosakova, who's this uh, mysterious kind of stranger who arrives on his doorstep and uh, turns his world upside down. People who like mysteries, thrillers, I think are going to love the, the twists and turns in this movie. Um, they're going to hopefully see uh, visuals that they haven't seen before, uh, go to landscapes they haven't seen before. We shot on location in Iceland. Uh, I think it's a big screen movie experience. We, we shot it in order for it to look best on the big screen, so I recommend people see it in IMAX if they can or the biggest screen they live near uh, with great sound system. We got great music from M83 in the, in the movie, so uh, I'm really excited about it. Everything you dream it would be. You know, I was very lucky in my first film to work with Jeff Bridges, uh, another icon that I had so much respect for, and Morgan's the same way. Very down-to-earth, generous person, um, an amazing actor, and when he came on set, you just felt this awe from the crew, even from Tom, you know, that we were like in the presence of, of a legend. And to see these two icons together for the first time in this movie, for me, it's, it's some of my favorite stuff in the movie.